Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right, welcome back to Boring Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. I know what you're doing. I don't do anything. And we, it's been a long time since so we did a video like this, and so we're excited to check it out. Not only do we do movies, music, comedy, food, other types of things, we also like looking at travel type videos to react to. And Jody, what are we looking at to Shmay? Incredible India in 4K Ultra HD, God's own country, beautiful and colorful nation. Now, hopefully our microphone picked up on that and you can hear what she said. Incredible India in 4K Ultra HD God's own country, beautiful and colorful nation. In the back, did you guys hear that? Yeah, you're good? Okay, good. Perfect. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. If you are excited for our reaction, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And then go ahead and hit that notification bell so that you are aware when we send or we Upload. Yeah? Videos? No? Upload. Yeah, that's good. Ding, ding. Hit that bell. We appreciate it. We've done a few um, explore or welcome to India, different things like that. I've always enjoyed it because of the scenery part of it. Never been to India before. We're still trying to get our first trip just like to Europe. <laughs> Europe. Europe, Asia. We're eventually going to work our way over there. But um, it's great to see, just in a small snapshot, the humongous country that is India, or any country. It's good to see some of the highlights, and hopefully this video will give us such highlights from Adventure Brothers. Thank you so much. Hopefully this was the correct one that you guys all requested. We got a request for this a long time ago. Finally get into it today. If it's the wrong one, just let us know in the comment section what the correct one is. And who knows, maybe we'll react to that one as well. But with all that being said, here we go. are you ready for God's Own Country? Totally. You know, one could say that God's own country is infinite in space. Hmm. The entire world. Entire universe. Everything. All right, we're going to check this out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here we go. Now, what flag is that from? India? Very mm -hmm. smart. It's an interesting transition. Water there. Tulips. I'm sure, they're not three lips. No. Nope. Oh, my earring is driving me crazy. I feel like I've seen that statue before. Oh, really? See, I was thinking I have never seen it. Wow, that's huge. Holy moly. Nice. Is it really vain to say I would love to get a statue like of myself like that? Yes, 100%. That someone else wants to create for me? Very vain. I'm just saying, like, it's not a life goal, but I nice love thought. love colors. Yeah, that's a beautiful tipple. I think we've seen a video on that, too. We've seen that in a video or a video yes. about it. That is so cool. Still gets me every time how pristine that is. Yeah, it's beautiful. So clean. I mean, you, you, they've got to clean that all the time, right? To keep it that white. Just from weathering. It's like Sydney. I was about to say the same thing. And that ancient one right there, dug into the ground. Yeah, that's good. Didn't we watch a video about that, how they dug into yeah. it and they built like, their city that way? That's so crazy. Jeez, what's that? Great Wall of India. That's pretty. It is. really natural, like, stone barges or something around that. That's cool. It's amazing 
how diverse India is. Because if you don't know about it, typically Americans just think it's like this huge desert. Hopefully I don't think so that, but I can more. see some people like to see a few pictures like, oh, it's the whole thing's a desert. Yeah. But it's so diverse. Oh, she's chilling in the water. <gasps> oh, that'd be so scary to drive on. I mean, it's the same as the U.S., right? We have desert regions, you have different biomes, yes, you have different everything. regions around. Mm -hmm. Totally. You live in Vegas for too long, you think the whole world is desert. Then you fly over somewhere like, I don't know, Chicago, you see trees for days. That's cool. Oregon. Different seasons. No skinny trees. I could be wrong, but I think their highest elevation mountains are the ones that board them in China in between. But again, I could be wrong. Just have a little family of elephants cross the road. Don't mind them. They look both ways. Well, that's cool. I love seeing the green on a mountain from like a far away. Whoa, that's cool. What is that? No idea. You can make like a fancy story about those being different portals, different worlds. That'd be so awesome. All the yellow roofs. And like that right there just looks amazing. Like they, yeah. people just like take baths like right there on the side. Right. That and like wash clothes and stuff I feel like we've seen. I don't know. That would be a perfect way to end this video with the sun setting right there. Right. Watch out for the fire. That is so cool. Look at that, how the clouds are shifting. You have blue on left left side and the orange on the right side. That was cool, except for that you could catch the lamp from the person who was recording that. I don't care, they got a great shot right there. That was cool though. Wow. Again, this might not have been the right video that was requested. There's four of these in this series that are labeled. We just chose the first one. They didn't have a link for this one. But again, it's just, I have never been the kind of guy that has like on my, I don't even have a bucket list. But if I did, that would be like travel around the world. Like that's never been something that I've had as a desire, but it's also not something I'm opposed to. It's not something like, oh, I just don't want to travel, I can care less. I would love to experience different cultures, um, you know, even if it's like a week at a time. But I would like to experience it like you like you're living there. Like not like not like they're there because it's just like another place that you're you're living in. But like some of the stereotypes you think, like like an Italian stereotypes, all that kind of stuff, like you know, like the kind of location you want to be at. But also be able to like I would love to sit in and eat like food from people that actually live there as opposed to a restaurant that's cooking Italian food. Gotcha. I'd rather hang out with an Italian family like, hey, can I come over for dinner? And can you cook like some of your best foods? Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Like, that's the kind of stuff I find to be interesting. But at the same time, it would be awesome to see these different places because there's so much more to see. And we live in a big country, a vast country, has different, like I said, different regions, different climates and whatnot. But you still... There's just, there's so much to see is what I'm trying to say. And watching videos like this doesn't make me feel, oh, now I'm fulfilled to worry about it. It makes me want to even go see those stuff even more. Totally. Well, I feel like I was like trying to think like, what huge statues do we have? And I'm like, well, I mean, Statue we have, of Liberty. We have that. But again, France gave that to us. 
We have Mount Rushmore. Rushmore that was like carved into No, that's natural rock. mountain. That's how it looks. Ha ha. Um, and then of course we have like the fake statues on the strip, like with the casinos. But other than that, we don't have like the we have Niagara not... Falls, which is a cool. No, but I'm thinking the like world. huge statues, like the ones that like we, we saw, saw these. This. I'm like, how I'm many places have insane. statues that size? That's what I'm saying. I don't. Feel, I feel like that was something I was not expecting. Yeah. Because we don't really have that. Yes, we have the Statue of Liberty, but again, that was given to us by France, and Mount Rushmore was like carved into the mountain. So it's not really a statue, but like that was something I wasn't expecting. And correct me if I'm wrong, was that Gandhi, that statue? That statue of Gandhi? Buddha? Oh, no, well, there was a Buddha one, but there was also the man, the first one that you saw. It's like really, really oh, tall. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I want to say know. Modi, but I think he's their, their current prime minister or something like that. Anyways, let us know in the comment section. No, you're right. And just to look at that and be like, holy cow, look at something that someone built. I'm really fascinated, again, with like that, that little city, little town that they built Inside, into yeah. the rock and they chiseled everything out. That is, my gosh, that is so laborious, but that is so awesome, too. And you have this finished product where thousands of years later, it's still standing. It's being preserved. I want to know, Taj Mahal, how do you stay so white, my friends? How do you stay so clean? I don't care where you're at. You're eventually weathering and dust and all that kind of stuff. I mean, do they repaint that? Do they just clean it? Very, very impressive. But let us know what other type of travel videos, if you enjoyed this, you would like us to react to, go ahead and hit us a link, hit us a name, all that kind of stuff. We really appreciate it. Stay tuned tomorrow for a new video from Born Reviews. But until next time. Goodbye.